right guys, I'm about to show you an inside look at the dashboard on a 2016 Chevy Sonic. It's pretty sleek for a smaller vehicle. And as you can see, what you will see over here, I'm just gonna go basically from left to right on the dashboard. Like I said, you'll be able to see you got your blower opening, you got your actual your, your dash right here, of course, which shows you your speed and shows you, you know, your RPMs and all that, as well as you'll have some of your indicator lights, as you can see, like my seatbelt lights on. You have different spots like that. And as you keep going right, well, next you'll have your steering wheel, which is pretty sleek also. You know, it's a nice looking steering wheel. It's easy to grip. You know, it has your cruise control on one side and on the other side as pretty much a standard with most newer vehicles now you have your ability to you know use your phone through it as well as to adjust your volume on your stereo itself and as you keep going next time of course you hit is where you start your vehicle up at which is in almost in the standard spot which is right on the side of your steering wheel itself some vehicles now have a start that's kind of in the middle console or you have a keyless start where you just push a button but next you'll have where your stereo and everything got which is pretty much right in the middle which is a nice touch screen you could touch it to get to where you want to go as well as you could use the actual push buttons down here to control it with also but it's pretty nice with your touch screen and all that once again you have some big vents that's right above it to blow the air directly on you and as you come down here you'll have your actual basically your climate control features which is your you know your heat your AC as well as your adjustments for the, the strength of your fan as well as where you want your AC and stuff to go at you'll notice right here also you'll have a door lock feature which is pretty nice because they also have one that's actually on the door itself but you also have one right here to unlock and lock your door. And then, of course, in the middle, you have your actual shifter, you know, to put your car into drive, reverse, and all that. One of the different features about this vehicle is it does have auxiliary as well as the USB ports in it. But I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it anywhere. Sometimes they'll have them, like, in the middle over here somewhere. What you have right beside you is cup holders and, you know, different spots maybe to put change or something like that. And you do have a cigarette lighter right here to be able to, you know, plug a charger in or charge your phone or something. But for your auxiliary um, setup, as well as for your USB connection, as you keep going to the right of your vehicle, you'll see first right here you have your actual glove box, which opens up which is pretty deep, pretty pretty decent sized ones. But right above that, where you'll find another compartment at, which is the first time I've seen, which is another compartment right here that actually has your auxiliary cord connection as well as a USB connection and kind of like a little cubby hole in case you want to put your phone inside of there and then close it up. Because sometimes, you know, when you plug in your phone up, into a auxiliary cord or using a USB or something, your your phone is kind of moving around. You know, it's kind of moving around and it's and it's not really stable. So I guess with this feature, you can actually set your phone inside of here and have it plugged into the USB port or the auxiliary spot. Once again, it's pretty neat and it closes right up nice and neatly. And as you go to the far left, you have once again the same things on the other side, which is your you know a handle. A window control. Once again, this is a look at the interior of a 2016 Chevy Sonic. 